In this demonstration, what I want to show you is how to uh, import a table uh, into an existing database. So what I have is uh, the Star 5 database and I want to get a table from another database. This is how you do it. You're in the table section and you go File, Get External Data and choose the option Import. Now in this case you certainly need to know where the, uh, the database uh, information is, the, where the table is in the database that you want to be able to import and in my case it's in on the desktop or my desktop in a table called or a database called Extra Tables. So you choose the, uh, the database after locating it onto in your computer system and choose import and then the information will appear like this. The uh, dialog box shows the tables that you've got uh, available to import. Now let's just imagine in this example that I want to import say uh, two tables, the SOC survey and the SOC legend table. Uh, so you select them by clicking on them. Uh, if you keep clicking on the uh, the objects or the table names they will keep getting selected but in this case I just want to import these two tables. Having selected the tables you choose OK and the tables get uh, brought into the existing database. Uh, that's a simple uh, simple process. But once you've done that uh, you want to be able to then uh, set the relationships between uh, the tables that you've imported and the main table. So I go Tools, Relationships uh, and I want to import the or at least create the connections, the relationships between the SOC tables. So I need to click on this little button here or icon to be able to gra <coughs> grab the tables. So it's the SOC Legend table and SOC Survey table. Now in the other database I've already made the connections so you'll notice uh, the a relationship already exists between these two tables but now I want to be able to make the connection between the staff table, the main table in my database and the SOC survey table and I'm making the connection between the employee numbers uh, in both the tables and when I see the screen like this the first no, the main thing that you need to establish is that the staff table, or in my example, the which is the main table, that's the uh, the name that appears on the left hand side here of this uh, list, and then the uh, the table that you make connections. So having got the two field names identical, and I click on enforce referential integrity, which ensures that before I put information in the SOC survey table the employee number must exist in the staff table. If you refer back to the um, relationship uh, video uh, I go into that in a little bit more detail but once you've clicked on these or selected these options you click OK and the table uh, relationships have been set. At which point you save the database and then you can close uh, the screen, close that. You go back to the uh, uh, the uh, main uh, menu or the menu for the table screen and we've completed that uh, importing process. That's the end of this demonstration.